pratyahar so i'll end with that pratyahar is a stage in the ashtanga yoga of patanjali you know in patanjali's ashtanga yoga eight limbs uh, yama and niyama the first two are disciplines moral and ethical disciplines do's and don'ts then uh, there is asana sitting a steady posture for meditation pranayama uh, the control of the breath regulation of the prana through the breath which calms down the mind then comes pratyahara withdrawal from the world outside and then there is um uh, dharana focus dhyana meditation and samadhi complete absorption so these are the eight limbs of yoga that pratyahara is withdrawal from the external uh, that's the crucial thing where from external things you come in inwards yeah. before that moral practices and sitting and breath control they are to do with the external world and the body but pratyahara is now you're coming into the mind you are shutting down the senses and turning the mind inwards so how do you do that with the eyes one can shut the eyes but then how do you shut your you need ear plugs maybe but how do you t- uh, shut down the uh, the skin and the taste and it's not physical shutting down which is meant here what is meant here is the mind shouldn't flow outwards through the sense organs the question is good because not much discussion is there about pratyahara in our our text as far as i know so what it meant here is that the mind shouldn't flow into the world outside through the sense organs so a turning away of the mind it can be done at different levels one important way powerful way is bhakti devotion yeah. um devotion to god the mind goes where where the heart is so what i want and what i love so i love my lord who am i visualizing in the heart so my attention will go there and the senses will no longer pull me outside you can strengthen that you can put a no admit admission sign in your heart that nothing no admission of anything from the world outside until i'm done with meditation and that helps in pratyahara so turning the mind inwards by the pull of of love of god bhakti helps a lot a uh, a vedantic approach to pratyahara is this tell your mind strongly oh mind nothing in the world outside is nothing that can please me nothing that i want anything that the mind can bring to the sense organs into into itself um sights sounds taste smell touch i am not interested in any of that whatever you can supply me with oh mind i am not interested in any of that and what i am interested in the witness consciousness i am the self that you cannot supply me with so you are shutting down the mind both ways what the mind can do for you i'm not interested whatever you can do whatever thought perception you can bring to me i'm not interested and what i am interested in you can't uh, you can't bring it it's beyond your range it's beyond the capacity of the mind you will see the mind calms down senses also will calm down immediately when you strongly drive this thought into the mind the mind will keep offering you see this see this you close your eyes hear this hear this are feeling mosquito buzzing around the whole mind will go there yeah. <laughs> uh, which normally you may ignore but in times of meditation in the slightest stimulus little sound the mind will go there yeah. maybe somebody else is meditating near you i've seen that happening meditating and somebody just in front of me another monk swallowing loudly <sighs> like this and the mind gets irritated because of that monk swallowing i can't meditate <laughs> as if as if you could meditate with if the everybody was silent if you put in a deep silent chamber you would go into samadhi you wouldn't <laughs> it's the mind's mischief which immediately takes up some object either attractive or uh, unpleasant or disturbing or something and tries to go on thinking about it no nothing you can think about is of any use to me then the mind will try another kind of mischief okay what is it of that is of interest to you maybe i can supply that you're interested in, in you interested in vedanta in the pure consciousness all right let's think about pure consciousness uh, here are the different theories the, the books that we have read the talks that we have heard no 
I am not interested in your theories, in your talks, in your memories, in your arguments, pro, for and against. No. The moment you give in to one of them, it will immediately lead you step by step into the world outside again. That's the very nature of the mind. Whatever you can supply me with, not interested. What I am interested in, you cannot supply me with that. This is a technique from the Yoga Vashishta. The mind will keep quiet. And then you are free of the mind. The senses immediately become uh, silent. When, when the mind gets this kind of treatment, the senses are the servant of the mind. They become quiet also. Like our master is in trouble. We better keep quiet. <laughs> Very good. Thank you so much.